Is the director always the first one on set? Or would you sometimes see other crew members, actors, show up before you, and what did that say about them? There's some actors, I won't mention their names, but they're, they are so involved in the legitimacy of what they do. They're there before the crew and me. They just sit on the set and sit in the seat they know they're going to be in sometimes, or if, if it's supposed to be their bedroom, they'll go around the bedroom and touch the props and do what is never become familiar with the pictures on the wall and what's in the closet, what kind of bed sheets are they, what color is the bed, and how soft are the pillows, and why are those pillows that soft, and why are they harder, or is the blind closed or is it open, and uh, is there curtains on the wall? Uh, and why was that color chosen for the sheet? And ah, okay. And they're comfortable because it's their bedroom for the last 15 years. So sometimes they come to the set two days before and they just sit there and they become organically ingrained. Um, some of the great actors have their own ways of becoming the truth of what they're supposed to be. And I get there and they're there. Hey, Bill, how you doing, man? What you doing here, man? You know what I'm doing, I'm working. I see, and thank you because I, I respect that. They don't just wait for you to tell them what to do. They have their own, because I'm an actor too. As you start surrendering to a character that the author has written, it's, it's gonna sound crazy. But the character tries to live through you if you accept him or her. I was playing a character once in a movie. I forgot which one it was. And a week before I was supposed to film, I started doing this. Never done that in my life. My girlfriend at the time said, what are you doing? I said, wait, she said, you're going. I said, no, I'm not. She says, okay, watch. Five minutes later, I'm going. <laughs> that was the character coming through me. And so I put that in part of the film because I knew something that was being expressed through that person. And it's trust, trusting your instincts, yourself, and your talent. So if an actor wants to do all those things, bring little idiosyncrasies or tics or, or show up three hours early, is that something that they almost feel like they need permission to do? Because I could see a new actor wanting to do those things but being scared because they don't want to offend anybody or whatever. But if you're a new actor and, and you know what acting is and you have a good director, they'll give you the permission that you need to do and be the best you can. Good directors, their ego is, listen, if I'm shooting a scene with the star of the movie in a car, and we shot half the scene before lunch and shoot half the scene after lunch. And the, an intern, an assistant, or a caterer comes up to me and says, hey, Bill, Bill, I say, what? The license plate before you we went to lunch was straight, but now it's crooked. I don't say, you're the caterer. You're an assistant, mind your own business. That's stupid. I say, thank you very much, because I didn't see that. And I have my assistant go and straighten out the license plate. You know why? Because I still get directing credit. That person's no less than me. That person helped me out. But some people throw phones at people. I don't understand these idiots. 
throwing phones in people's faces and this royalty wave like they're superior to human beings and an attitude of superiority like other people are it's annoying because they're all gonna die <laughs> they all bleed and I do believe I have no proof of course I don't want it that when they all go to the bathroom and do number two they stink And if they don't, if they can prove they don't stink when they go to the bathroom, I will worship them. <laughs> but <clears throat> until that moment occurs, <laughs> don't come to me with that crap. You understand? You stink, I stink, we both stink. Cool. Do your damn job. Simple. We're going to assume that they do. We'll just... <laughs> if you're asking me if I'm going to the bathroom, I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying we're yeah. We'll just we'll 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 err on the side of caution. Of course, great caution. Yes, good nice great pun caution. to err. Yeah, yeah. Air, air is a, see, that's I like that what she said. She says air. Air. <laughs>